Hello everyone, welcome to my weekly video newsletter. Thank you for your time and I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all your emails, that feedback come back to me and I absolutely appreciate it and I appreciate your time. So today I want to talk about develop it to Alasico. This is the one thing that uh, many students wants to know how to get their leg higher because they see every day in Instagram, they see beautiful dancers have their beautiful legs and all of a gone high, turned out and beautiful. And how all students often wants to know how can they be like that. I have a couple ways to help students to improve their development to all of a gone. One of the things that's very important there is a one, two, three, approach. First, of course, we understand it has to come up to retirate front. Yeah, from here. So to make sure it is not, you don't need to go to pass it. To me, pass it is a position only serves as a tool, as a purpose for leg passing from the front to the back or from the front, go somewhere else, need the leg, need the position of pass it to be a transitional position. However, retirate is important. It's because it gives us opportunity to have the foot directly underneath or chin. It does not have a diagonal movement. So it is much better for the students go to retirate in order for the hip not to flare up too easily. So even Alasagong, I still prefer the leg go to retire from the retire position, then to alasakon to the side and not go to the passe. So in this particular case, the one, two, three approach is like this. One, this is your one. Two, it is not the foot leave the supporting leg. Two is the knee goes up as high as possible. As you can see my calf, it's a vertical position. My calf is a vertical position to the, in relationship to the ground, subject to much less gravity. Therefore, this leg is lighter. The minute your foot goes like this, it's subject to more gravity to pull the leg down. So what I want to do, the number two, is the foot as close to me as possible, the knee, as close to me as possible. Now look at me, my thigh, it's created. Number two step is created as upward, upward trajectory for my leg to be extended. Now from this moment on, when I was in school, I see girls do this all the time. They go like this and they put their arm underneath their thigh. So their leg having the upward trajectory is being held. From there, all they do is extend their foot like this. You see? So this is a strength issue for them. The most important part is to create a upward shape for your thigh. This will allow the foot to carry out the rest of the journey of Develope. So once the product is done, once their foot is reached, once the knee is stretched and the foot is pointed, this leg, it is not at 90 degree level because 90 degree level is, in my opinion, the leg is heaviest because this is subject to most of gravity hold of our legs. So what we wanted to do, what we want to teach our students to do, if this combination required the leg to do maximal height, alasiko, you have to, stay away from a 90 degree angle. Having the knee to go upward trajectory already. So the foot goes out in a diagonal up at once. To avoid this, we cannot do a develop and a relevant long. It's heavy and it's incorrect. Yeah, this is a lot of hip issue comes in place when we do this. Very heavy, and it's a wrong way to get our leg up. 
You want to get your leg up has to be one, knee up two, then the foot. So this is, um, I think it's, it's helpful for students to have this kind of approach to a, a beautiful high end correct also gone to the side. Thank you, I hope this is helpful to you. And just try it to see if it works. And you can help them. You can put their hand, your hand underneath their thigh. You can help them and to gain the strength at first. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you.